What is going on today guys? We are back at Champ Mini because um, there was a Mini we found and my mom is really interested in it. I've kind of corrupted her and now she really likes Minis. But um, if you notice my mom in the background, we brought Jack with us because uh, say hi Jack. Jack, say hi. Where or, dogs go with or horses. don't. Mini is the British and yeah, he's French, but they're British and they like bulldogs. So yeah, we're gonna go find that Mini that uh, my mom was interested in and maybe make a deal on it. He's such a little toy. Uh, I'm sorry. Is it okay if I hold him? He can even be in here. Yeah, you can walk around. We're yeah, super dog friendly. friendly so. Awesome. Oh, no. Oh, he's so friendly, aren't you? He's friendly, he's just not. So, unfortunately, they're playing a lot of copyrighted music here at the dealership, so I'm not really able to film as much as I'd want to. But um, over in the corner, they do have a John Cooper Works GP, and I'm gonna try and film a little bit on that because the John Cooper Works GP is just cool as hell. He really wants to get in, but he can't. Poor buddy. It's not your car yet. Not yet. Okay, I found a uh, second GP that they have up here. This one is number 1277 of roughly 3,000 that they made. Jack doesn't seem interested in it. But what's super interesting about the GP is the fact that it's basically a 300 horsepower Mini Cooper. So my car with 300 horsepower and an eight speed automatic. I really want to put this wing on my car, but um, yeah, I, they're expensive. It's like a grand and a half just for this wing. And I don't have a grand and a half for a wing. Also what's really interesting about these is this crazy bodywork in here. And these super, super sticky tires, as you can see. What are you doing, bud? Where are you going? Chill. Yeah. Oh, and of course, the absolutely massive brakes. Those will stop you. Some other cool things include, I, I'm trying to let you see this, but you can't, really. Can I go into the back? So y'all can see the back seat has been removed and replaced with just basically a bar to keep stuff from flying into the passenger compartment. But otherwise, there's nothing back there. It's crazy. Also, they got the Union Jack tail lights, which is just awesome. So before my mom decides on which car she wants, we're gonna test drive a Countryman S because she's just liking the bigger size of the Countryman here. Okay, this is what I'm gonna tell you. Uh, I told our wonderful salesman. I love the convertible. I love it. And a little bit I feel like I'm talking myself into this. So that's kind of what this test drive is about. It's me talking myself into that I will love this as much as I know I would love that. So this is basically just the big four-door version of the black one that we were came here to look at because this is the iconic line. So it's got the heads-up display as well as the touch screen and all that. And it weighs a lot more and has the same engine. That's the big issue. But cost-wise, it's almost the same too. Yeah, it's got the same eight-speed automatic. Um, I think this is an eight-speed auto. It might be a seven-speed dual clutch, but I think they reserved that for the Cooper. So what are you finding? I'm finding that if I didn't already have a Jeep at, that's, that we're keeping, this would be perfect. But since we're keeping the Jeep, it feels redundant. That makes a lot of sense. Because I mean, this is basically a miniature Jeep, but it's not small enough to be considered like an actual goofy mini, like my car. Yeah. Like, Which, and my car's big for a mini because they were so small in the first gens. But I would say like, this is this is much more fun than the Jeep. Yes. I mean, than the Jeep that I have. Not an off-roady Jeep, but. Yeah, like, an off-roady Jeep would be totally different, but like. This is much more fun as a daily driver. Yeah, but I'm not positive. It's, it's, it's quite fitting what I'm looking for. And what I'm looking for is weird and fun and a little bit in your face and practical. Convertible is a realtor. Right. Ooh, I like this when the screen times out, it goes too. Mm, that's Yours cool. will do that too. Wow. The uh, convertible that you're looking at yeah. does that too. I want to retrofit this whole thing to my car and I think I can. I just know it's really freaking expensive. That has become the theme with what I want to do to my car. I want this, but it's really freaking expensive. I do have an on-ramp though, so we can at least have some fun. Shifts a little goofy like that. Yep. That would be top of the third, it sounded like. 
So if you get it, get it one like my car, can I do stupid mods to it, like the air intake and stuff? Oh. Oh, yeah. Make it sound goofy like mine? Yeah, that's the whole point. Yay. I like doing stupid stuff to cars. That's my I thing. I actually, you know, you know, you painted all your inside stuff blue to match? Yeah. I'm gonna paint all mine red. That'd be cool. And there we go, I think we got our conclusion on which one my mom likes. Geckers! Off, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hi, are you okay? Oh, you're okay. Okay, so we've got the convertible inside. This is the one my mom really wants. Something cool they showed us you can do is if you unlock it and hold once, it'll crack the sunroof. Right, I did that wrong. If you hold it when you unlock it, it'll crack the sunroof. There we go. Oh, slightly squeaky. And it cracks the sunroof. And we click it one more time. And it cracks the entire, it should open the entire top. There we go. And there goes the entire. Oh, it's freaking out. <laughs> Big dummy. Stop. 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 That's amazing. But now we got the top down. He's like, I'm not getting in that thing. <laughs> Maybe you don't have to put you within the car too close to the roof. My car, if you, yeah, there you go. There you go. Is he gonna freak him out again? No, I don't want him to. He hasn't see. noticed it yet. Nope, he's not gonna notice it. There we go. So you have to hold it on the side. And locked in place. I wonder what this easy load is. What's yeah, what is easy load? This. Yes, it's exactly what you think it is. <gasps> that's actually pretty cool. That's, that's genius. Really cool. That's cool. That's actually cool. Okay, well that makes this little tiny hatch less impractical. Yep. If you get a soft top like this, you do need to get some soft top cleaning material. Okay. Where are you going, dummy? No, leave that. Come here. Get back over here. Yeah, um, that me. so if you get a soft top, you do need to get some soft top cleaning material and basically to clean it, spray it, agitate with a brush, rinse it off. Okay. But you have to do the agitation with a brush, otherwise it looks like pop-ups convertible top. Have you seen it? Yeah. It's got so like the lines going across. Go through any automatic washes, it has to go into a, because of the wheels. Because of the wheels? When I scratch them, like I've got a big giant... I have big sidewalls. So oh, yeah, no, you'd have to go into something like auto wash if you want to do an automatic wash. Where you drive in and it just goes around you? Yep. Yeah. That is just a handsome looking car. I love those little... I want to retrofit these headlights or these running lights. Oh. He's freaking out over something. So I want to retrofit these fogs to my car. Because I like those fog lights a lot. Actually, I want to retrofit a lot of the LCI stuff to my car. Do well, you think this is the one, Mom? Yeah. So from the inside, to take the top down, I'm gonna turn on the ignition, just so it doesn't have any issues. Pull it back once and hold to get the top down, or to get the moon roof open, sunroof thing. And hold again. That was loud. There we go. And now your top's down. Perfect. I also love this digital dash, it's super cool. That's the color you want to do all your accents? Yeah. Nice. I like it. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, if my mom gets this car, I'm going to be a little jealous. Because that's the biggest thing I want. I want that more than anything else in my car. What? That. The Union Jack. Oh. You like it, Jack? Sit. <laughs> nope, you won't sit. There, there you go, go buddy. Good oh boy. You look good in this car. He loves it. Stay. Dogs love minis. Oh, that's adorable. He's so sweet. Yeah. He's such a good boy. Yeah, You're a good boy. So here's the thing that minis are always known for. Customization. And these are all the different colors that you can do stripes on your car. So if I want to redo my stripes for something like this, I absolutely can and probably should. Because uh, colors are a thing, yeah. Just noticed a thing in here. Focus for me. Um, a full vehicle wrap is four grand. And um, yeah, they've got some colors I want. 
Just cut. <laughs> this is cool. Oh, that's a good cut. Okay, I found the color I want to do my whole car in. It's blue, purple, and red. It's a color shifting. It's called Avery Satin Roaring Thunder Blue Red. And like from where I'm sitting, it looks like this, you see the dark purple right there? That's the color, I love it. But the fact that it's blue when you look at it head on and red from an angle, that'd be killer on my car, I think. Also looking at some of the things from my mom's car and we're thinking maybe if we do gloss ambulance yellow like this uh, on the belt line around the, like the chrome belt line and then what were you saying do the side stripes as well oh, this doesn't move no you have to use yeah i was thinking here. the door like this yeah like that right there oh what the heck happened there like that yeah this little side stripe right there but in yellow like that and then potentially the main stripe but like just the side stripe i think is super cool and then the belt line as well like this car right here this yellow one yeah that'd be cool and then basically a side stripe yeah but then black out the door handles i like that that'd be really good i really like that okay so we got most of the stuff finalized and now she's she's super excited i think they might do delivery at the house tomorrow for her so Perfect, so I guess I'll pick this up in the morning depending on if we're coming back down here in my car or if we're coming back up. Uh, stripe work won't be able to get done for a couple weeks, so that'll be its own video. So, win-win. <laughs> this is 